are you in your brain? My name is Brisa Maimbo. I am a mindset and transformation coach with a mission and a purpose to help those women who have suffered trauma heal, discover the true purpose, and become the best version of themselves. I just had a little ha ha moment when I was uh, fixing uh, my basket, all right? My toddler has been kind of craving. A watermelon basket lately so here we are again it's the third one I'm making <laughs> during the week but I just had a little moment and I wanted to share with you because you know I, I think a lot all right and uh, I'm always thinking whatever I'm seeing whatever away and I wanted to share that little haha moment that I had right now with you maybe you will get it maybe you won't but I want you to take your life just imagine your life and your brain especially just as this basket that we have right now so my question is, what are you putting in your brain? What are you feeding your basket with? As I'm making that beautiful uh, watermelon basket, I'm having a lot of mixture. Of course, I'm having watermelon. You need to have that. Okay, the main thing. As I empty, everything is down now. So I'm asking you, as you're watching now, to empty your brain right now. Whether you're watching live or replay, empty your brain totally. All right? Whatever you're feeding your mind with, will, will expect. Whatever you're focusing on will expand. You see that multitude? Imagine all of those di different food. I have strawberries. I have, you know, the melon here. I have mangoes. And I, I have the blueberries. And, of course, the watermelon. If I were to say that those strawberries represent positive thoughts, all right, regardless of the situation, regardless of the state, you know, whatever is happening right now outside, the more I feed my brain with positive thoughts, the more, okay, I am healthy. The more the results that I'm producing, you know, the result of everything, because again, we are what we're thinking all the time, you know, as the man thinking, so it is. So this basket represents your brain. You want your brain to be healthy, you wanna have, you know, that balance, that productivity that you want, you have to make sure that you are feeding, all right, one of the most important part of your body, your brain with the positive thoughts. And all of that represent those different color can represent anger can represent lack of forgiveness can represent you know uh, you know and gratitude can represent whatever that you want that is not healthy and all you have to do is make sure that your amount of you know negative thoughts or positive thoughts are higher even though outside right now we are fa facing a crisis it might be turbulences outside and we all have turbulences we all been go to turbulences but you decide to focus on the now. You decide to focus on what matters now. You decide to focus on what brings you joy. So I'm asking you again, what are you focusing on now? What are you really putting your mind into? Because again, we are what we're thinking all day long. If you're waking up in the morning and only thinking about uh, the business that you know well, or you're only thinking about, oh, maybe my business will not make the amount that I want, and you worry about something that hasn't happened yet, which a lot of people are, and they worry why they have anxiety, you know? So you have all those little, little different colors or what you're focusing on, you can be happy. You can be fulfilled because all you're focusing on the things that hasn't happened yet. And yet right now, the result is right now, you're losing the momentum. Right now, you're losing exactly the, the essence of life. Right now, you're losing exactly the reason why you're here. Right now, you're losing exactly the true purpose of life. Which is really living happy. That's the reason why we were born, to be happy. We were never born and created to be unhappy like we are right now. But again, as we're growing, hi dear Gandhi, as we're growing, we have to expand our awareness. My purpose is to remind you, regardless of what you're facing, regardless of the trauma that you face in your life, there's still hope. But no one can do that for you, but you have to choose. The same way you have to select the fruit that you put in that basket, you have to make sure that you are mindful of the thoughts that you're choosing to have in your brain. Because whatever you're putting, whatever color you start to put in your brain, that's exactly who you are becoming. I know right now we're all facing the crisis. And again, for the first time, humanity is facing the same crisis. So right now we all have the same devil. Whatever is happening here in the United States where I am right now, it's happening in China, it's happening in Morocco, it's happening all around. So whatever you want to know, we are all facing the same devil. But yet, I just want to teach you a little, you know, the mindfulness awareness. I'm all about, you know, mindfulness attitude, switching your brain, switching the events and your mind, you know, being kind of mind 
mindful and shifting your mind from po uh, from negative to positive instead of looking at the things you running outside be mindful of every little thought that you're putting inside your brain so i was saying that i put the the, the you know the example of the basket whatever you're putting in that's why your brain your feelings are related to what you're feeding your brain with uh, your emotion are relating to whatever you're feeding your brain your mood are related exactly to how you're feeding your brain with so again what are you feeding your brain with i want you to be really mindful as we're starting this week i want you to think about this basket okay this lemon again watermelon it's been my toddler inspiration the whole week she's been asking about the watermelon basket but again and again as i was making it i had that awakening that i wanted to share with you and again i wanted to wish a happy monday a happy mindfulness day i hope that you really take time to be mindful of all the positive thoughts i want to have more strawberries because strawberries represent the positive thoughts okay it might be even mango so you choose the color that you want to have in your brain and have more positive thoughts by know how by making sure that you are controlling your thoughts you can't do it because we are what we're thinking all all day around if you want your week to be grateful if you want your week to be amazing okay you have to focus on the positive right now you might not have everything you might have loose but what do you have right now it's what is matter you have to be grateful of course of where you are right now you have to be grateful of what you use yet does not, don't have but don't focus on that yet focus on what you have right now and i'm telling you whatever we focus on expand we know that so i wish you a happy mindful day and i hope that you learn from that and i wish you just a prosperous mindful day and school is closed mama. and uh, i hope that you really take that as an example and uh, I'll see you guys next time. If you have any questions, my name again is Brisa Mayembo. I am a mindset and transformation coach. You know, uh, hashtag the mind shift queen with a purpose, you know, and a mission, divine mission to help you heal from trauma, you know, discover your true purpose, you know, and become the best version of yourself. So that was the little watermelon, you know, analogy. And I hope you like it. Focus on what matters so you can be a happier person. I love you guys. Don't forget to tag someone who might need it. We all need some colorful thoughts in our life. We really need to manage what we're thinking, okay? I love you guys. Thank you all today for watching. Whoever's always going to come via the replay. Let me know what are you focusing on right now. How are you keeping your mind to positive self? Happy Monday. Happy New Year. Bye.